Chinasa, a woman's unmarried condition is becoming a problem in this family. Brother, I still do not know when it becomes a prerogative. I mean, the duty of a girl child to find a husband for herself. The right husband will come at the right time. Yes, stop disturbing her about this, please. Do you know that, Miss Yoma, my younger cousin has a suitor, but she, but she cannot marry because her elder cousin must marry before her. Do you know that? That same outdated tradition has kept this family in the situation that, that, that they're in now. You've forgotten. The situation we find ourselves now is that same tradition that kept us in this. Wash your tongue. That tradition you're talking about has been guarding this family even before you got married. Is that same tradition not supposed to have been changed by now? Since everything about life has changed. Yes. The reason is to make sure that the order of seniority handed by our forefathers must be guided and cannot be tampered out. Talk to your sister. But I've said my own. Just allow it nature to play itself. Talk to her. This road by this time of the day. Hi. Presents who are nice at it again. Come over you. Why did you all of a sudden stop coming to me whenever I sent for you? Do you realize I'm married to Prince Ono Solenze? And the real family members are now worried about the news of our relationship. Oh, spare me all that. What we share is much better than the entire real family put together. Renna is at it again with her promiscuity. It is regrettable that she has forgotten that Uku Naga Wam Wam is always monitored by Anya Naga Vyam Vyam. Hey! Can you see now? Which road is she following now?
I've missed you so much. And I miss you too. I want you to quench my sexual desire here and now. Now? Yes. Is there any problem with that? We are off the limit of people's eyes. Nobody can see us. Come on. Oh my lady. Oh my lady. Oh, greetings, my princess, wife to Prince Onosoleze, who is my boss and my friend. Please, may I ask you, what are you doing here? And what are you doing here, you, actually? I am Osita Demma, the son of Mbadoga. Everybody knows that I am a good friend to the prince. Prince Onosoleze. I am the personal assistant to the prince. As a matter of fact, I am his advisor on security matters. So I am here monitoring what is happening all around the kingdom, including checking on people who are meandering. My princess, huh? beautiful princess, I want you to know that it will be an error, a very big error, for Diochi to say everything that he sees at the top of the palm tree. Omarize, Anogangam. do anything. If he dares open his mouth, I bet you his ancestors will, will receive a new soul today. How am I sure he won't tell the prince? Yeah? You know this guy talks too much. What is he doing there?
It's been a while, my son, visitor, the palace. And I wonder, to what do I owe this visit? Father, I do not like what is happening in my marriage. Or is it again, son? Urena has proven unrepentant to the manner that she keep defiling our matrimonial bed with Omalinze. And I keep wondering why you don't want to punish him. Oh, son, I don't want us to go through the case of Omalinze again. What is important is your wife. What do you intend to do with her? She uh, should be more of your concern than uh, Omalinze. Father, Diversing Urena will be a debasement to my integrity. I want to take a second wife, at least to justify my heart. Yes, and to bring peace to my home. Son, I am a custodian of tradition. So are you. Our custom forbids polygamy. Our custom does not forbid polygamy completely. There are some precautions one should take before going into another marriage. Well, well I may have to consult the uh, Council of Elders to seek the opinion in this. you are good for it not eating and sleep. Eh? Oh well just see. Have you seen them? A Marathi that is senior that we are older than just got married. And these are the items I got from her in the bego right. Eh well when are you going to get married? When I go to bring a man into this family, eh? even if he's deaf and dumb, bring, let me bless you and the person. Eh? Let me tell you, your mates are doing the same. Do what your mates are doing. Eh? Oh, I'm talking and you're still eating my food. Give me this food before I pour it on your body. Oh, this is not all the food in the house. Nonsense. Eh? What is it? Eh? 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 Look at Eh? 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 Ah. Yes. Okay. At my age, I'm supposed to be welcoming my grandchildren ah. during holiday period. But your daughter, Ewele, has made that dream not to come pass because of her inability to get married. Eh? Nay. Nay. I don't like what you are doing at all. I don't like it. Eh? Oh, since you claim you know a lot of people, why not introduce your daughter? Introduce her to them. At least one of the men may like to marry her. Then you have a granddaughter. Not to treat her as if you hate her. Should be taking it that you hate her. That's exactly what it seems like. Yes. Huh? Nonsense. Please, my daughter. 
don't mind your father. I don't know how he developed this sheer aggression. But all he's doing is for your own good. Yes. A good father wants to see his daughter get married. Because every parent wants to enjoy the dividend of parenthood when their children are adults. So when your father say that you always stay at home, I don't blame him. Please, my daughter, I want you to go out there. Make friends. Maybe from there, favor will locate you. Yes, you get married easily. Beacon or Adesem. Make friends. Learn how to go out. At least people will see you. You see people, you make friends, you, you enjoy life. Your father does not hate you. Why would he? Beacon them. Oh, Adam, please stop crying. My darling, please. Adugum, you need to be seen and to be shown favor. Hmm? Please, it is okay, my dear. You know I love you and can do anything to make you happy. Why not divorce your husband and marry me? <laughs> My love, don't say that. Marriage is the pride of every woman and deserves to be respected. What's the more reason you have to leave your husband and marry me? I am a prince in my own world. There's nothing I do for my husband that I don't do for you. But you've not made me a husband. That is one very important thing you've not done for me. <laughs> Omali, oh, don't forget your position and your promise. You and I know the only reason I accepted this relationship is because you promised to give me a son to keep my marriage alive. But I'll be doing my best and you know it. Your best can only be enough when you give me a son to save my marriage. Rena, I love you so much. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I want to have you all to myself. Why not come into me? And make me feel like a woman. <laughs> It baffles me how Malinze keeps following Orena around, even when she's married. And not even the king or the prince is doing anything to punish him. Hey! My dear, what do you want the king to do? Has anyone tried to punish him over all the atrocities that he has been committing in this our community? So, why now? Let me ask you. Mm -hmm. Did he force himself on her? Asa. For me, I feel the relationship between Urena and Omalize is a mutual agreement. And Omalize bo odariwu ejenga. You all know that. I don't understand. Are you two trying to justify their relationship? Because I don't understand. Eh? Not even 
impotency of a husband will justify a wife having an affair with another man when her husband is still alive. Now you understand what I mean when I say the royal home is not doing enough to cope her promiscuous excesses. You understand, right? Girls, let me bust your bubbles. Do you not know that Omar Lindsay is the son of Ajofia? He has nailed himself untouchable due to the warrior's charms that are in his custody. Can you imagine? Hey! Okay, I'm back. My dear. My dear. Oh. My dear. Honestly, Edoga, you're coming, boss family. What troubles you, Your Highness? Anyone who has a relation does not need to jump up to collect something at a high point. I commend your native intelligence and that's why I summon you to provide a solution in a situation as precarious as my son's. Obviously, this situation is getting out of hand. And I do not know what to do. Your Highness, uh, you have been my friend for a very long time. Even before you ascended the throne of the king of Ititinaza. <laughs> Tell me, you have been a Melobak or Bane Melinobi. What is the problem? My son. Anusalize wants to get another wife. Tofiapa! That is against our tradition. And our custom forbids polygamy. In way, and you know it now. Huh? Not in a situation like this, Edoga. Not when there is a case of infidelity from his wife. A wife who is supposed to be dedicated house wife to her husband. Not when my posterity is a jeopardy as a result of no heir. And this is a woman who is supposed to give me uh, a descendants. Lack of an heir can be an act of the gods, our ancestors. Urena has consistently been sleeping with Amalese, therefore denying my son his matrimonial rights over time. In that case, we'll have to remand her to her customary jury so that she'll be disciplined as the custom demands. The issues bordering on Urena's infidelity is coming from Omanese, the foster son of Adjofia. I don't know why I've been clueless on how to handle the case against Omanese. In that case, we'll have to invite Abalike, the mouthpiece of our gods, so that we can look into the situation because it's something that we have to treat with precaution, especially when it concerns Omalinze, the son of the gods, Hadrofia. You invited me to the royal home in such a manner. I knew there was a problem. My in law. Please. You can't just wake up and make such a decision. I understand how you feel. Please take it easy. Let's follow due process. Be cool. Are you trying to tell me that you've not heard about Urena's weird sexual behavior? I've been waiting over three years now for your daughter to change. But she keeps getting worse day by day. This is indeed an insult to my family and my kindred. Please, what do you intend doing? I want to take a second wife. Even the king will not support you because he is the custodian of tradition. Even our land forbids 
polygamy. No woman will want to accept you as a second wife. I am a prince. Every woman wants to marry royally to come and see me whenever you're back. That's why you sent for me. Hope all is well because it's been a long time you saw last. Yes, all is well and all is not well. I need a little favor from you. Why, wow, so. Igwe. The situation is complicated. And it's not a decision I have to make in a hurry. Igwe. What are you saying? You're not just the prince's father. You are the king. And you know our tradition for big polygamy. And your daughter's alleged promiscuity is against the moral rectitude which this royal home was built upon. Infidelity is against the tradition of this bright land. It is Nasa. Uh, uh, what do you mean, Mrs? What I mean, the nice thing is that your daughter should be called to order. She must not bring shame into this royal home. She's a princess. She must behave like one. Go home. <laughs> Now, um, Kemdilin, please, you see, you're my wife's best friend. You introduce her to me before I got married to her, okay? I need you to tell me some things about their family. Does Apunapuna Apuna run in their lineage? Aha, my prince, you did it just the proper in your marriage, and you got all the information needed that confirmed that Urena is your wife. Why all these questions? See, yes, fine, good and fine. Una, Una gave me two beautiful daughters. But there are some things I need to know about their family. Is there something I need to know? My prince. Obia Somba, your in-law, is a righteous man who would not kill a fly that perched on their food. Their family are natural givers who will surrender their last and borrow extra pad to add comfort and hospitality when strangers knock on their door. They raise their children within the range of humility and rehearse services to any acquaintance. My prince, Urena, your wife, inherited the virtues of her mother. She is kind-hearted that only a Quensu could provoke her to anger. That is whom your wife is, my friends. Why, why, why do you keep telling me good things about them and no bad things at all? Why? <sighs> is there no bad something out about them? <sighs> my friends, I hope you're not having problems with your lovely wife lately. Edora, I do not know what is holding the priestess. Abaleke, the mouthpiece of Amadeke, I welcome you to my humble abode. Omalinze is the offspring of Ajofia, the evil deity of a Titinansa that protects the rights 
of every upscoring indigene of a titinanza. He is a child of the gods. Amaleke, a child who just barely begin to live is the one causing these several pandemonians in our kingdom. Allow him to contend with his chi. Amaleke is an instrument of war. The gods have kept him for a sole reason, to be used when the external enemies want to invade our community. A Titanansa has used him to win many battles in the past. Why do you now want to fight and ditch him for your personal reasons? Do you not know that when you kill a fighter in a vendetta, you will need him when war arises? You should be more concerned about Urena and not Amalinze. My wife, she spitted on my face through her attitude and her character. She shed our matrimonial pride with another man. What do you want to do? I want to get if we knew any clue, we wouldn't have someone to here. I know your fears. Divorce the woman, and you will put her in an abominable situation of life. Keep her, and her immoral actions will bring you sudden death. Marry another wife, and you will be going against the customs laid down by our ancestors on the same throne which your father the king sits on. Ah, Malachi, you know this too well. Huh? And I wonder, what do we do in a situation like this? <laughs> the ancestors have set a panel of jury and they have not found you guilty. Whatever decision you take, the gods will accept it. I am No, wait, 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 wait. Um, what are you going to do now that um, Amaleke has spoken in your favor? What else will I do? If not to go ahead and marry a woman who will take care of me and bring back respect to the kingdom. No, 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 don't be in a hurry. I am not only your kinsman. I'm also here to let you know that marrying another woman will not only be a bad idea than a solution. The absence of an heir in my household is making my family suffer drastic setback. What setback are you talking about? I am a prince, but I am suffering scorn in my kingdom. People now make jest of me. They snub my company publicly, especially in a big occasion where I'm being called as, as a special guest of honor. I understand how you feel. No, you do not understand. Men are now probing the laps of Urena, promising her to begat me a baby boy.
The crack are now showing. Yes, because she's already given a listening ear to Omalinze and lots more. She now honors appointment indiscriminately in total content of me, her husband. My family is now torn apart just because my 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 wife is now a bedmate to every man. All in the name to save the family. Has it gotten to that point? Oh, come on. Stop that. What are you talking about? Don't pretend as if you don't know. Her, 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 her name is all over the town. Her topic is stock of the town. Her infidelity just degenerates into an incest of getting me an heir. <sighs> I'm lost of words. I, 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 am, I am not lost of words. I am not. Because I know what to do. Yes, I know what to do. What do you I want? am going to marry another wife. Don't fear for her. No. You cannot do that. I will. I've advised you over and over again. No, you can't. You have to think about this again, my son. There is no need for that. I will marry another wife. No, you can't. I will get myself another wife. Nobody it's my duty to advise you on the best decision to make. My prince! My prince! <laughs> Soleze, my son, I'm not happy with the way you're looking. You keep machating everything as a result of continued thinking. Mother, what do you expect? When my family has been torn apart, and none of my family relatives is doing anything about it, nobody is doing anything to help the situation. To save me from the problems of Urena. But you had a meeting recently with your father and Ichie Edoga. And I know that Abaleke was also at the meeting. What was the outcome? More than all, we're standing with what Abaleke said. Father and Ichie sounded very confused on how to handle the situation. What? There's nothing to be confused about it. Look, just go to the neighboring kingdom and get a wife for yourself. But uh, you know the consequences. Damn the consequences. Look, you need a new home for yourself. What? You need to be happy again. Yes. You need to secure your dying respect in this kingdom. You can't continue to be sharing your wife with Omalinze. That stupid and useless, unrepentant hoodlum. You can't. Am I saying I should go back to the basis and start building another home? Exactly. That is the solution. Look, until you are optimistic, then you can solve your problem once and for all. You need to make a vociferous opposition against some of these stupid traditions that affect you negatively. Otherwise, it will be difficult for you to solve some of these problems permanently. Mom is not as easy as you say. You know what? Come with me. Come, my son. You see, marrying another woman is not the problem. The problem is Urena. She's wicked and heartless. She can gang up and poison the young girl even before the marriage rite. I mean, that would be a multiple trauma for me. I understand your situation. For my grace. You see, I have this uh, friend of mine from Kentucky. Permit me to refer to him as my friend. The age difference, notwithstanding, because he is apparently old enough to be my father. He has a daughter, Ijawale. 
very beautiful daughter. I know if you talk to him, he will be willing to give you his daughter's hand in marriage. That should not be your problem. That won't be possible. I mean, going to seek for a woman's hand in marriage without some proper involvement with a kinsman from both families. Now you pointed what you may refer to as a problem. But permit me to say that a problem cannot arise without taking the mission from the solution. What are you trying to say? There is always a way around the problem. There is always a solution to any existing problem. So it is not left for you to make the decision. Decide. Then we will eventually get to the man, convince him, and trust me when I say that if you are ready, the man will get convinced. And marrying the daughter is not going to be a problem at all. Father, you need to support me. Abaleke said that the gods approved of any decision I want to take. So, I am your father. At least the gods that you are seeing today. I cannot support you to marry another woman. Our custom forbids it. It will not happen in my own way. What I don't understand. Who will not see fidelities get on my nerves? <clears throat> Our custom for this polygamy. The idea is to ensure that the limited number of women in our kingdom would go around the population of men available. That can be tampered with. When you've got into your elastic limits of enduring marriage crisis, an incessant infidelity. There is hardly any excuses that justify his divorce. Not even the hackneyed chronic of a stress flimsy excuses of barriers. Not even the issue of male child or an heir is enough to be able to appease the gods of this land to approve divorce. Is that serious? I want to marry from our neighboring kingdom. So, there is only a quarrelsome person with reason the way and manner you are reasoning. You cannot abandon a funeral at home and go straight across the fence to attend the funeral there. Leaving the pride land, the titans are to marry an outsider would label you a man who is a confessed rock. A one marriageable uh, 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 idiot with an incurable bad attitude. I cannot allow this in my kingdom, not let alone my family. <laughs> My husband, please, you need to calm down. Whatever that gave Anusoleze the effort to flaunt my orders will show him that I am still his father. Our son is going through hell in his marriage. And if taking a second wife is what will help him solve his problem, then all we need to do is to support him. Not at the expense of going against the law of the kingdom that he would rule after me. Would you rather he dies due to the pressure he's getting from his wife Urena? Remember a dead man cannot rule a kingdom. He deliberately disobeyed my orders 
by going to Amatete in search of another wife. I will never support him. <laughs> My husband is taking another wife. And she will be coming with him to the palace to perform the customary Malube rite. So what do you want me to do? Suspend whatever you are doing. I need you to come to the house and want me to tell my husband to stay away from you. That will result to a fight between you and I. <laughs> Renat. What do you intend to achieve? We need to provoke a siege of embarrassment and blackmail upon him the moment he gets home. I want him to appear irresponsible so the marriage will not work. Are you sure this will work? I'm very sure about this. Trust me on this. I better take my leave now.
Onusoleze may have made his decision, but I will never support him. Never! Your Majesty, you have always admonished that no one can fight whoever the gods support. The gods did not even find him guilty with the decisions he made. So, it would do you no good creating enmity between you and your own son. I am not a man. My boy simply took your stubbornness. And he also took your wisdom in his decision making. Oh, do you, don't you notice the, the inherent wisdom in his actions? I have still that girl. Your children have gathered here today. To say thank you for your love, for your protection, and for your guidance. Whoever has things dead for us, that person shall die. Mm -hmm. Because of Allah shall continue to guide and protect us. Mm -hmm. The only way to win a case against the gods is to provide all the basic demands for appeasement so that all the blame will be for them when they fail to meet their promises. You all know my predicaments, and it's not transferable, which was be born by me alone. I wish to find another partner who will help me to solve the problem. You're welcome to our family, to my family. A wife is a bait for the gods and a greater tomorrow. Almost so easy. Because if the king had queried Omalinzi and punished him accordingly, eh, the, the prince would have gone ahead to marry against our custom. You talk as if you do not know that Omalinzi is untouchable. Omalinzi is an outcast, an offspring of Ajofia, the god of war. So there's nothing they can do to him. Are you not saying that we should all live in daily fears? Simply because there's nobody that can do anything to him. <laughs> My dear, we can only depend on his chi to deal with him. If not, he will continue being a terror in this kingdom. Fighting him is equivalent to fighting the gods. <laughs> oh, wonder you know, shall never end. You know how dangerous Omaliza has been in this kingdom. Oh, dear. Our plans did not work. They are still in this house. Listen, we have to make this house unbearable for them. You cannot fold your arms and watch the prince bring another woman into your own home. Listen, if you ever do that, then you have lost your grip in the royal household. I think we have to plan, we have to strategize and make sure that marriage does not work. Right. Wait, wait a minute. I think I have an idea. I have a better plan. <laughs> I will relate it to you later. Oh, please. Your Majesty, I am not happy at all. This is an embarrassment to my person and to my family as well. Worst of all, he brought a teenager for the Maluberites. I am surprised as well. 
I do not know what to say. You see, any accustomed traditionalist knows his only wisdom that could nominate such a contrasting two song to fulfill the right. My lord, this kind of arrangement is a total coverage for an interior motive. But I'm sure in you that in time I will interpret this cultural interplay as it unfolds. So thin. See, I concluded aside that the chaperon is likely to be the new wife. But with the introduction by the prince, I was proven wrong and uncertain. Greetings, my husband. Greetings, your enemy. Calm down, my lord. Anusoleze is our son. Why have you chosen to insult this royal family? Why? Is this how you are going to rule the people of Etichinansa with this fickle mindedness? How dare you bring such an infant into marriage? I've made my choice. What stupid choice? I'm asking you, at your age, graciously, father already, you want to stretch you, you, your patience to wait for a little girl to be able to get to a marriageable age. A little girl, your daughter marriage is twice her age. What a shame! I could imagine how he brainwashed her mother to accompany her to this Manlube traditional visit. Father, when I came to you, yearning for help, what did you do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You told me that Omalenza is the son of the evil deity and untouchable. So I had to leave. No, no, no. I, I had to leave with all my mind to paint all my life. Finally, I was able to hazard a solution. So, Father, you have to come down and watch everything unfold. Oh, so lazy. I want that woman and her daughter out of this kingdom before sunset. The decision I took is a personal decision and not a family policy. Father, you are the king of this kingdom and not the king of my family. The grand eloquent audacity. Huh? Look, don't mind whatever the king is saying. He's only being apprehensive of the decision you've made. You are my son, and I am solidly behind whatever decision you take. Mother, thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. I, I am so grateful. Thank you so much. What are you still doing here? You should be in your abode making arrangements on how that woman and her daughter should live, live this kingdom. You lie, Igwe Anibese. You lie! My son is the heir apparent to this throne. And he has taken away. There's nothing you can do to stop it. Nobody! Flunks my orders. When a deity exercises too much authority, it is only normal to remind it of the wood it was carved from. This is a family matter, Iwe and Iweze, and must be separated from the affairs of the throne. Meet me 
in private. aid when I need you the most. But if it's a day to have sex with you, you will not hesitate to make yourself available before time. Oh, what matters is that I'm here now. Tell me what you want me to do for you. I need you to organize your boys to go and wait for those criminals before they take my husband away from me. Let them beat them mercilessly. Wait for them where? I heard you'll be going around the village to see the kind of resource we have in our kingdom. Let them wait for them on the path that leads to Chuba. That plan will not work. Yes, it will work. Firstly, they are not going to do the working alone. Secondly, if they are battered, that will not give the kind of impression you want to create in their minds. <laughs> okay, so... What do you suggest? I want you to call your husband Kingsman. Tell them that your husband is dodging away from his responsibilities. That he's not friendly for you and your children. And he rejects your food even when you bring it with your heart and toy. Malinze is right. <laughs> At least that way in call to the visitors that your husband cannot take care of his family. And when the meeting wants to hold, request that that meeting holds in this house. Yes. Well, so that the visitors in the hearing, we know that your husband is a lousy man. My lady, I love you too. <laughs> Come here. <coughs> Couldn't you be more diplomatic in your utterances? Mm. Hey, get out. Okay, Your Majesty. Let me put you through Iwe and Ibweze. I allowed you to liberate me because of the love I have for your late brother. I was already pregnant with Onosoleze before you knew the woman in me. The throne rightfully belongs to my son, Onosoleze, not you. Why are all these coming from? Why do we have to visit a history in a time like this? Be careful the way you treat my son's issue. Be careful! He is my only child and the only obvious result of my marriage with your late brother. Don't 
push me into revealing the obvious. Don't bother my son again concerning the decision he took about taking a second wife. The throne rightfully belongs to him, not you. Be careful, Igwe and Ibuese, son of Mwakese. Be careful. My wife, I still can't explain why our in-law choose Nkiru instead of a well lady that, he, that he's supposed to get married to. <laughs> My husband, you worry yourself too much. Eh? Hmm. Stop worrying yourself. My wife, I'm supposed to be worried. Okay. I'm supposed to be worried. I hope these people have not deceived us. Eh? They should know our tradition, that the young maiden cannot marry before the elder sister. Hmm. My husband, you know that uh, Odnosoreze is a custodian of traditions and cannot bring down his reputation by making such unacceptable move. Yes. Hmm. My wife, I don't know why everything that has to do with your daughter has come. Huh? I don't know why. No, stop that. Stop that. Why are you saying it like that? Eh? The prince paid Awele's bride's price. And after the Malube proper, he's coming to take his wife home. Eh? So I am sure of that. No two ways about it. I hope eh? so. How about yours? I go on mine now. I hope so. Um, Urenda. Go ahead and tell us why you call us here. The king is waiting. Because I have to think back words to him. My elders might hate you. I called him for him because the way my husband had been treating me has become unbearable for me. I thought he would change. And he's getting worse by the day. What did I say? I had no other God. Do not lie. What treatment is this? He has left his responsibilities as a husband. But rather focus his eyes on being an outsider, both married and unmarried. He even stopped eating my food, no matter how delicious it is. I'm not so lazy. You've heard your wife. What do you have to say? My other side greets you all. Thank you. As you all may know, I am not poor, and I will never ever be poor. But in my store, I have enough food stores there. And she has the access to go in there and get any kind of food so that I can food for my daughter to eat. That's a lie. Will my children continue to eat white yam every day? I have vegetables and every kind of condiment that can cook any kind of food. She's my wife. In my kitchen there, I have enough food stuffs in there. And I've never deprived her of going in there to get whatever she wants because she has access to everything she wants there. I've never deprived her. And I asked her, I pay her feeding allowance every month. Because I don't like Anyways, uh, my prince, we are not here to question names. Okay. All we are asking is take back your responsibilities as the 
of our lives. So trials here you can refocus your love on your wife alone and then show her. And if we ever notice any atom of subordinate love to a distance made, don't deprivation from this village and from our kinsmen who the Lord is. Pay attention to your wife, my son. And everything will be fine. Rena is my wife. She's still my wife. And I always play my role as a good husband to her. Yes. You see, I can't really explain the entire level. I mean, the greater this and this one since we came up. It is possible that the family is not in peace. From one meeting to another, I fear for my sister I will be considering her condition and the kind of person she is. Hmm. On the second thought, she just wants to create a bad impression about the prince, so we can hope we never come back. Can't you see that she's a medicine woman? I think you're right because the prince appears very calm and not wanting any problems at all. Hmm. Well, I rather suggest we sit quiet and watch the conversation inside here. Okay. Mother, it is very obvious that father doesn't like me and I don't know why. If I don't tell you this, you might hear it from another source. What is it? Tell me. Igwe and Igwese is not your biological father. What? I was pregnant with you before my husband, Igwe Omekanmaya, died. Because of the love I had for this family, I didn't want to go back to my parents. I allowed an Ibuese leverage me. After I gave birth to you, I couldn't have another child. And an Ibuese, on the other hand, couldn't marry a second wife because at the time, our custom was seriously against polygamy. The king does not hate you. He is your foster father. And it is his sacrosanct to protect you as well as the throne. If he doesn't, then how do you explain the way he treats me? To leverage me in marriage is what gave him access to the throne. He is scared of abdicating the throne for you to rightfully take over from your father. Though this is our little secret. Since he could not take a second wife to hand over this throne to his descendant, he is scared that you might have an heir, a foundational root to take over from him. This is sheer jealousy and envy born out of insecurity. Every man has that fear. This is, I mean, this whole thing is relatively confusing to me. Hmm. 
I want you to keep this as a secret. Let's watch things unfold that it will make more sense to you. My son, I just want you to understand that the throne that Anipreza is sitting on is overdue for you. Honor Soles, the son of Igwe Omekanaya. But I want you to concentrate more on securing a peaceful home because he who cannot rule his home cannot rule the kingdom. Don't forget to keep this revelation. In the kitchen answer was. Well, you remember me. My name is Inkiru. I'm just a little girl. Actually, I'm not the prince's wife. I went to Etiti Nansa to perform the Malube Rite tradition on behalf of my sister, Awili. She is the one getting married to the prince and not me. Now I'm back to share my observation to my family. Just between you and me, the prince is a good man for my sister. They have a very beautiful house. The people of Utsinans are welcomed as well. And Papa, do you know that Aweli is going there as a second wife? We saw the first wife. Her name is Urena. Hmm. Let me help her. The first wife is Quarison, which is why the prince wants to marry Solmix to comfort him. Many tricks was played for us to see the prince as a bad man. Where's a good man? Okay. I just hope she's not the kind of a woman that will kill her daughter for us. Mm -hmm. The first day we went there, there was this skirmish of conspiracy against the prince which is aimed to discredit the prince for us not to accept him. But the conclusion is there are gossips and innuendos against the prince. But like I said, he is a good man. I think we have to call an extended meeting of the family for us to decide if we are going to give our will to the prince or not. Come to think of it properly. Time is not in our favor. We just have to listen up. What is your view about this? Things have just spoken. My brother, mm. I suggest we hold this meeting by tomorrow. And by then, other uh, elders will be available. Eh? Okay. I agree, I agree. Uh, my daughter, you both have done well. Hmm? You cannot go inside. We have another issue to discuss. Eh? Sort of embarrassment is this on Soleze? So after how many years of blissful marriage you decided to humiliate me this way? You see, in this life, every human is entitled to his own opinion. Yes. I have never meddled in your lifestyle in this house. So I will advise you Never to meddle with mine. It would have been better you marry one of the maidens in the palace and go out of this kingdom to bring one dumb girl as my co-wife. Hmm. On the sole say you've insulted me and this is the height of it. Ijawele. Beautiful Ijawele. 
You see? I love her. And I've chosen to marry her as my wife. And there is nothing, I mean, there's nothing anyone can do about it. I have married her. And she has the full and equal rights in this house, just as you do. Okay? And meanwhile, I have a meeting with the king. It's not in my manner to keep the king waiting, especially when the meeting is very urgent. Excuse me. Jawelly, I want to go and see my father, okay? My father, okay? Okay. Yes. I'll be back soon. I'll see you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> husband could see and get married to is this destitute. I can't understand how Onosoleze got himself involved in this madness. How could he do this to me? How? My friend, the truth is that his so-called in-laws must have used a powerful charm to enlist his commitment to this useless dumb. My husband, charms do not work on royal blood. So what happened? <laughs> she must have been rejected by so many suitors in her kingdom. Hmm? And your husband became a victim of circumstance. <laughs> My friend, I pity you. <laughs> Do you know the kind of sufferings the gods has packaged for you by sending this, this parasite as a co-wife? Do you know? You don't? No, 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 no. I have to do something. No. I have to do something. I have to complain to Omalize to rescue me out of this mess. I, I need to do something. No. I'll just die. I'll just die. I have to do something. I will never forgive my husband. See, she is such a cost dumb. A cost dumb. That is who she is. Don't worry yourself. We will handle her. I 
is not a bed of roses. Oh, this world is not a bed of roses. Give my God, give my God, so. This is the height of embarrassment for this king. How can you get a different look from marriage to his father? Why have you chosen to bring shame to the royal family? Why? Your Majesty, I married a loquacious woman who almost broke my home. Now, I am better with a woman who is deaf and dumb. At least no one will be attracted to her. So I can save my mind to bed from being desecrated again. You are talking bad, Adish. I do not want to see that woman in this kingdom again. Do not provoke me further. Enough! I will make life a mission! Enough of this torment! Your Majesty! You cry the person! Enough! I'm so lazy. Just because I allowed you, you think I'm a fool? I am not a fool! I just allowed you to sit on the throne of a Titanansa. Just because of the respect and the love I have for you. Vis-a-vis -vis your granddaughter in this position of your royal responsibility. Any day, I am tired of your excesses. I will have the queen to testify against you. And you will have the gates, the throne, so I can take what rightfully belongs to me. For your information, I have taken a bride. That is final. Who could have revealed my secret with the queen to him? No, I cannot allow him to took over the throne from me. I need to act fast. Prince of Nosa Leze, I've been waiting for you. What is wrong with you? Why have you chosen to punish my daughter? Urena, and I'm going to them. Such a harmless woman that has been living with you for a greater part of her life. Why have you chosen to pay her with such a dumb coin? Not just a dumb coin, even a deaf one as well. Ethiopia Sumba. When I was lamenting about your daughter's attitude and infidelity, what did you do as a father? Did you do anything to caution her? Don't tell me that, Prince. How can an acclaimed pastor like you do such a customarily despicable thing? Bringing shame onto the palace and onto my own very family as well. Would be a somba and it showed a difference. Such a harmless woman that has been living with you for the greater part of her life. Have you forgotten the lines from which you have come from? It's you, Prince. It's you, the prince. I've made my choice. 
and that is final. Urena is now free to flex around the village with the acclaimed indestructible Omalinze. The prince. Even if it means getting another wife. Not a destitute. A deaf and dumb. Why? Life is a choice. It's you. But no man would want to be alone destitute. The way you detest her is the way another man detests her. And her body will be for me. And for me alone. And praise. I am getting disappointed. He said, I am disappointed. I'm disappointed. I must tell you the truth. Royal embarrassment! What an insolence! Royal embarrassment! Oh, please, please. Please. Um, so wouldn't have insulted me the manner he did if not because you smoothened his feather and therefore giving him a tip for insulting me. What tips are you talking about, Your Majesty? What tips? The man I fell in love with and got married to is supposed to be a strong man and not a fearful one. What exactly has Onosoleze said that has made you fear this much? Onosoleze threatened that he must make me abdicate the throne if I try to stand on his way by going against his decision by marrying that destitute. A lion's cub is not expected to have herbivorous characteristics. Besides, the throne belongs to him. However, I'll advise you rather not stand on the prince's way. Let his decision stand. Onusoleze has been intending to make me less the king. And you have been supporting that. Am I seeing a reification of royal insurgency? Oh, is your plan to connive with your son to send me on an exile? Oh, far from it, my loving husband. Far from it. I just want you to draw the lines between your wimp and that of your authority. Onusoleze is no longer that little boy you used to know. He is now a full-grown man. Therefore, I will advise you allow him to take decisions for himself. At least, for the first time in his life, let him take decisions. Remember, Uchakrokaro Omiambembe. <laughs> He started to lull it over me. Forgetting that I'm a man old enough to, 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 to make my choice. It's okay, but whatever it is, whatever it is, it should be to be in control of your anger. Please. What is my house? I'm old enough to make my own choice. In my own house. But it's okay. It's okay. I'm okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Onosoleze, the son of Obekamaya. You are you are just like your father. <laughs> so, <laughs> so tell me, Marcus, how have you been coping with your new status of uh, polygamous family? Let him come now, 
Mm. You know, at least I have peace in my heart since I married the jewel. I mean, my jewel of inestimable value. <laughs> Indeed, you are playing your polygamous husband role well. Okay, more. When he says, you know, no. <laughs> so, how about your co polyandry husband, double is it? I'm sorry, my prince. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You don't joke with a thing like that. You don't strike next time. Please. I am so sorry. Like I said, it will not happen again. It's okay. I'm sorry, my prince. It's okay. Don't be angry. But has Ulina stopped her? Mahana Malaysia, a destined into the illicit love affair. She's getting worse by day. She now feels at ease to disclose her motives in her house because she feels I cannot find out. But not from the dumpsters. Oh, I understand. It is regrettable how she feels. That you cannot find out, at least not from your wife, who is a dumb woman. But don't worry, don't worry. Nemesis will catch up with them one day. Just one day. Just one day. How do I cope with this act of disgrace? Calculated slap on my face. Ripping embarrassment to me and my family. This disconcerting show of effrontery will be retaliated. I must ensure that Onusoleze reaps a whirlwind for his actions. Onusoleze. How can someone who eats from a royal plate revert to picking crumbs from the compendium of this commoner? I cannot share my husband with a dumb wife. My ancestors had better take my life than allow me to suffer this humiliation. Looking bad. Thank you. How are you? My dear, I'm fine now. <laughs> I hope you're okay. Yes, I'm fine. <gasps> Your liberal says you will be coming to cultivate in your garden tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I would like you to prepare breakfast for him. Oh, come on. You don't need to use encoded words before this dumb girl. She can neither speak nor hear. So tell me. What? Did you see him in person or he sent someone across to you? <laughs> he gave me a message in person. <laughs> On my way in the morning. So, really? <laughs> and told me to contact you against tomorrow. <laughs> Such a good coincidence. The prince will be going out tomorrow. Are you serious? Good timing. Good timing. Good timing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Good timing. Hey. Oh dear. <laughs> you know what? I have... uh, why are you in a hurry? I have to start going. Mm, I don't want my husband to get home before me. <laughs> I guess. Take good care of yourself. And you too. Take Anything! Care of Just give me a cup. I will. Make sure you give me a cup. Bye. <laughs> Take care. Mm. No. 
<laughs> I am going to eliminate you very soon. <laughs> very, very soon. <laughs> This is the lady you described to me. The shapeless wish everybody hates to see. Do you, do you know her? Oh, but she is the total opposite of what you told me about her. Just look at her eyes. Her complexion. Her waist. Imagine her irresistible stature and humble appearance. If I had met her before your husband, I would have gone ahead and bought her for myself. She's so, she's so disarming and pretty. Don't follow them. Men are unpredictable creatures. It's true, partners. How can you describe a dog lady as beautiful, even when she cannot take your compliments? Which is why you are attracted to her. But you know what? You have lost. I don't know what you're talking about. All I know is that she's a complete angel and opposite of all you told me about her. Hey. You know what? You will understand it. I can't sit here and watch you insult me in my husband's house. You baby. I don't know why such a handsome, promising young man like Omalenze will decide to ruin his own life with bad and indecent behavior all over it is in answer and beyond. Don't say that I told you. History has it that his mother was raped at Omudeleke and her parents threw her out. She now went to Ajofia to give birth to him and Ajofia promised to save and keep him alive. He took after his rapist father, whom is believed to be a criminal. But nobody can destroy the sword of the gods, except the gods who dealt him by themselves. He is an outcast, yes, but an offspring of the gods. My dear, I also heard the reason for his unrepentant crimes is because he reportedly dragged an indigent old man from the bed and took his wife home. <laughs> That young man imagine. has a lot of evil stories surrounding mm -hmm. him. Hey, the more reason he excommunicates himself from people all the time. Yet the priest's wife, Urena, still gives him access to her body, knowing that he is evil. <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect? Birds of a feather. Flows together. Hey! I pity him more, seriously. You There's no the time I see him in this community that I don't get to. PT is an understatement.
pretty damn so. Fine, come on. My beautiful Uri, the epitome of ancient beauty. You know what? I'm still wondering how your husband was brainwashed to marry this ugly, dumb head of a woman. Even if he's free for keep. <laughs> Now you are talking like the man I fell in love with. <laughs> I knew this worthless dumb girl would not impress you for long. <laughs> when you were busy praising her the other day, I knew it was my flattery just to pull my legs. <laughs> <laughs> but now the gods have vindicated me. <laughs> you know, if this village was created by women, Men would be bereft of sweet tongues. You can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me, how has your husband been treating you? is getting worse. He doesn't answer my greetings nowadays. And it's so painful. I am so pained considering the fact that the reason he's doing all this is as a result of marrying this worthless dog girl. But I would teach her that if a young colleague lifts up a senior colleague in a scuffle, a load of utensils will crash upon her. I... I understand your anger. But you have to calm down, my lady. You have to. He who walks with caution does not hurt his toes on his thumb. You have to take things easy so that we do not make mistakes. Yes. And remember, beware of the dumb. For the God speaks for them and protect them. going to do my princess? I don't know. I can't believe my own Omalize is so reluctant in doing something about this. What about the royal family? How do they take the news? I don't even care how they take the news. I am more concerned about the damage it will cause in my marriage. See, we need to find a way out so you won't endanger the life of your children if the prince sends you out of the palace. See? Because that is another possible thing the prince is capable of doing. Uh, in that case, I need you to organize a meeting with Omalizi as soon as possible. Please, my sister, if possible, let him come to the palace. Please. Because I need solution. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> you know what? Okay. I have to go. I will see you, okay? Just take this, please, okay? Your Majesty, you sent for me. You look very pensive. Is everything okay? There is thunder in the sky, Edoga. I think Prince Anusaleze has something he knows. How do you mean? 
I think he has found out that I am not his real father. He threatened to make me abdicate this throne and take over the throne which rightfully belongs to him. This is very serious. But who must have told him about this? Who else if not the queen? Or did you? Oh, you know I can't do a thing like that. Knowing the dangers that surround, no, I didn't, and I wouldn't. I have tried everything possible to make sure that Onu Soleze does not have an heir. Now, Abaleke has given him the right that he now have a second wife. I heard that his wife is pregnant. I was thinking that my relationship with that mistress from Abagana would be fruitful. I was thinking that she will give me an heir. Now she is not where to be found. Not even in the deep blue sky. I don't know what is happening to this dream. You are still the king. Yes, you are. We will either find a way to persuade him to leave the throne or better still find a way to deny him the throne. And not even the queen can stop us from that. I've always trusted you, my friend. Do something. I will. It's a promise that has to be kept. I will. Urena, what is wrong with you? Don't you think about my future in terms of ambition? Don't you know at my age, I should have my own family no matter how tender? This is an opportunity for us to get married. And here you are asking me to get you pregnant with a son for that prince. I cannot marry you, Malinze. The worst husband is better than thousands of good men friends out there. You keep on complaining about your husband's wickedness towards you. But here I am with full vigor. Offering myself to you on the platter. So we can start afresh. Oh, Malinze, I cannot marry you. All I want is for you to eliminate this good for nothing girl. Help me to regain my control in my husband's house. That's all I want from you. I cannot do that. I cannot kill you that You must do this work, Omalinze. Remember, I have records of your undetected atrocities in this community. Remember the young ones you tied in that evil native doctor's Come on. The children you kidnapped. The things you've stolen in this village. I can easily give you out for execution. And you and I know. The gods will find you guilty. There is no need for this argument. The only problem that defies solution is death. We have to find a way to get rid of your co-wife. But we have to be careful. Yeah, my wife is greeting you. Oh, yes, 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 I know. I've seen her. Yes. Thank you. How come this your unexpected visit? It is very unexpected because the palm tree is growing in fruit at this point. Yes. And it is the duty of we, the elderly, to admonish the young ones about certain issues that concerns our historical sequence. 
Ichie, what are you talking about? What I'm talking about is simple. But if you feel that my visit to your place is not accepted, then by the fire in your kitchen, cast it away. But I advise you to return me. But if you find it useful, cultivate it and reserve it for posterity. Ichie, my ears are aching to hear you out. Or do you want to eat before we start discussing? No. No. Huh? No. The only appetite I have now is the appetite of admonishing our young ones. Telling them to understand the ills that is happening in our community. When the blind man dips his food on the floor instead of the plate on the table, the brothers around <laughs> begin to scratch their brows in shame. Yes, my prince. You must understand what I'm talking about. Ichie Doga, permit me to say that your way of talking is a great advantage which the gods have used to bless you in a way. And it has spiced the advantage and the respect which you've wedded within and outside Etitinansa. Now tell me, what are you talking about? Your maid service communicated you. Yes. And most of them have even withdrawn their support towards you. Even the women folks have formed a gossip league against you. How do you want to solve this problem? I've not noticed what you've just said. Why would someone want to excommunicate me? Because you married that dumb wife of a woman that an outcast is better than. Yes. Now look at the embarrassment. When are you going to be tired of this your sign language? If you are not ashamed, our kinsmen are. What is wrong with you? Ichi Edoga, your observations are right. But before we proceed, Let us drink the call or not. Um, okay. He who brings color brings life. They say Is again what I'm talking about. Look at this embarrassment. That she could just break into a discussion without the courtesy of an apology. Are you not tired of this? Richard dog, may we proceed, please? Let me tell you. If you don't know what to do, I'll tell you. Go and marry another wife and take this woman away. We are Toji, Konim and Toji. I've told you this is very important, more than this. Chase this woman away. Chase your wife away first. How? My wife is not dumb. She is sane too, and she will not behave. I am done! Why do you stand there looking at me as if I'm a global master? Therefore, pretending you don't know what I'm talking about. I ask. Who told Prince Onusolese that I am not his real father? I did. You did? He needed to know the truth. So I had to tell him the truth. Why are you scared about the same truth that will certainly be opened someday?
Why have you decided to be rebellious towards the throne of the pride land, the Titanasa? Rebellious, you said? Igwe and Igweze. Do you think I am daft? Look, all I've been trying to do is to protect my son's interest. I know you orchestrated a plan to deprive him of the throne. His pet right. Do not forget that most destinies are primarily determined by mothers before the gods approve of it. Oh, what are you talking about, woman? Urena's marriage with my son was supported by you. You supported it because you knew she was a woman of easy virtue. Oh, you thought she could cheat on my son and my son would die. But my son did not die. And you refused to support him again to remarry. Because you thought that the new wife would give him an heir. Why are you so full of evil thoughts? We had an agreement before the leveret concerning the throne. Igwe and Ibeze. My son Onosoleze is indestructible. And he must take over the throne from you. We had an initial agreement and we must stick to it. You want to ignite an inferno that will make me go up in flame. Why do you want to ruin me? Because you ruined me first. By having a carnal knowledge of your mate, Iruka from Abagana. Oh, you think I don't know? I was the one who sent her out of the palace. Yes, and let me shock you again. I made sure I flushed her womb before she left. You promised you and I forever. I married you because I want to secure the throne for my late husband, your brother. But your evil thoughts had made you an enemy to all that agreement. He who breaks the edges, the serpent who bites. Have you not noticed this change? She's pregnant. That means your suggestion can wait until the gods determine her position on the earth. I doubt it will not be too late. And I know that her parents will not want to take her back because there will be no suitor to come for her again. Honest Elizabeth, go and break the custom. In your own interest. Her presence here is utterly furious. And as long as she stays around here, that order will remain and repel people away from you. Maya. You too. I don't care. I do not care at all. Everyone has his or her own life to live. <laughs> what will it profit you to die for one woman and have 20 of them come for your burial? I'm <gasps> sorry, think about this. I can even volunteer to look for a beautiful woman for you. Oh, crazy, like I did you. You understand? I arranged the woman for you. What? Yeah. Here, let us enjoy this matter. A vulture does not finish palm nuts in one day. I will talk to another person for deliberation and assistance. One needs companion to undertake a risky job. Did you just mention another person for assistance? Yes, because you're the one who suggested I chase her way and take another wife. Mm. I think I need another advice on this. Yes, that is true, but you have to take it easy. Eh? It is too early to bring another person's advice into this. <gasps> they might think I influenced you to do so. Do you understand me, William? Oh. Take it easy, my son. Don't be too in a hurry. 
I don't know why Ombalise is dragging his feet in doing this for me. That girl needs to be eliminated before she gives birth to whatsoever she's carrying in her, in that stomach of hers. I am surprised myself. He's supposed to be at the pivotal point to make sure your pride and happiness is returned to the palace. I want Awili dead. Her presence challenges my confidence in the palace. Don't worry, we will find a way around making it. Greetings, Your Highness. Now tell me, Edoga, how did it go? <sighs> that woman must have given the prince a portion from her witchcraft. She's not ready to leave that dumb woman. Even if she remains barren. Edoga, we must use all cajoling means, except violence. Else, it will boomerang on us, and we will eventually lose the throne. No, no, that's out of it, Tofiaka. You can't lose the throne. No. How did you come about that? No. Adoga, you must try everything possible to make sure that Awele does not have her feet in this kingdom. And you are sure of a plot of land in this kingdom. A full barn of yams. Ten baskets of turmeric. I don't mind if you go fetish. I'm oh, at you, my your majesty. I will anchor this matter with possibilities of subsequent trial. I will go right now. Onye Jogubu. Onguludo. Ndi ne kwero ni si me kubi obuloku. Ye kwenuku, mababi obulegu. Sawaleke, the mouthpiece of the gods of Etitinansa. Stay away from the prince and his new wife, else you'll incur the wrath of the gods upon yourself. <laughs> no, 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 no. Leave that, leave that part, leave that part. Marrying a girl from another village is against our tradition. That cannot happen, especially not when I'm alive. It's an erroneous act which you stand to protect. Huh? No, I will not live to see that happen. If you do not redirect your steps, where you are going to in life will be closer than you expect. Is that supposed to be a threat? Do you wish me dead? Leave the priest and his family alone. The gods have not found him guilty yet. As long as I live, that marriage will not work. 
No way! No way! As long as I live! No! That marriage will not work! No! 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 Uh-uh! Amen! Amen! Mm-mm! No! Mm-mm! Amen! That marriage will not work! You are threatening me! Alright, the boss will never forsake me! You asked her to give it to me, right? Did she give you? Where is it? She couldn't even give you something to pick your feet. Well, as a kind and gentle woman that I am, where is your toothpick? To destroy that man is a problem. Listen, friend not about that woman. Is she not the same person that gave me water the other day? She also served me juice while I was waiting for you. Defender. I am happy she snubbed you. Yes! I am happy that she snubbed you. At least you've seen the kind of evil woman that she is. Well, the fly that catches on our food must be pouched. Else, we swallow it with the food. Yes. But Esther Ken must be taken to our best the food because of the fly. Now listen to me. When you raise the idea of the limited I remember requesting the provide ground for this execution. How far have you come? You are an expert, so you need the solution. For me to attain a successful operation, your maximum assistance is needed. So you need the way. Oh, 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 oh. So now it has to do with who I should be the way. Oh, but listen, have I been the one giving you ideas and all you do best trying to be committed in this kingdom? Hey, have I? Hey! Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. You live for missing your voice. So now it has to do with me. I should leave you with. I know your plan. I know your plan is to sleep with that woman. But over my dead body, you do that. I will never allow you to go close to her. Stupid he goes. Stupid egos, nonsense. Please, is there one in this house? That's <laughs> the name of my friend. I have to start going now. I just have to go. Spend time these days in my house. We are always in the home. Because you know, my wife's tummy is protruding every day. Yes. And no one is by her side to run an errand for her. Hey, I understand what you're saying. I understand. That is exactly the reason I've always suggested that you should at least hire one of the maids in the royal home huh? to do the errands for her. You see, I don't want all those distractions in the palace. That's why I left the palace in the first place, to live separately. My prince, do you not know that at a time like this, your wife Ijawole needs a maid? A maid who will be running small, small errands for her? Yes! Whatever a maid can do, I, Prince Omosaleze, can do it. Oh, there you are with your private life. Okay, I've always known you to be a very private person. You live a private life. Listen, I'm not afraid of carrying out murder assignment, but it is paramount I get first hand information on some certain basic habits at night in your compound that will help me with a successful operation. What information do you need? When does the household go to sleep? Where and in what position? You see, this information needs to be properly harnessed in this planning stage. Well, we sleep early enough. Our husband patrols the compound before going to sleep and he never wakes up till morning before going to work. Wait. 
Do you all sleep in the same room? No. I don't share the same room with them. For three seasons, my husband has never invited me to come sleep with him. This would pose a very big problem. How do we gain entry into this house? We need to get some specifics for us to twist and fix. Actually, I'm at a loggerhead with my husband. But I will discuss with him and get back to you. We need to sort everything out and eliminate Awili in less than one week. Another thing. You need to consult the gods. Because I have a very strong feeling that the gods will not allow you to harm her. Unless you make a passionate case of justified aggression against her. Probably you appease the oracle for them to silence her spirit. They will just strike. And you think the gods will allow me to kill anyone, no matter how cogent my reasons are? Urena, you know what? That aside, I think what I need right now is to satisfy my burning fire. <laughs> I need to drunk it so me now, not tell me, come on, baby. <laughs> Mama Linza is still sleeping with my wife, Irena. They are still making their evil plans against our lady. My friends, I wonder why you are yet to take reactions that will put an end to all this nonsense. I can only react when there is something to react on. That has always been you. What? So tell me, what are the new strategies? Rena will undertake to come to me. The agreement that she will start sleeping with me again. Why would she do that? Who told her that hustling for sleeping over with you is going to make her get a male child for you? Listen to me, my brother. Everybody needs to understand that having a child is the prerogative of the gods. I mean, this same Urena has been the one who has been desecrating your matrimonial bed with that unrepentant role, Gomalinze. It cannot validate pregnancy. Getting pregnant is the prerogative of the gods. I uh, well, I don't know. It's an avenue to compile vital information to enhance that is nonsensical. It is obvious that what Urena thinks at a time like this is that she can comfortably eliminate Ijawale. My question is, who told her that Ijawale is just any kind of girl that she would eliminate just like that? Well, I don't know. Oh, oh, the beautiful ladies of Etetenasa. Greetings, Iche. Greetings, Iche. How are you? I'm sure you're about to go and fetch water from the stream. Yes, Iche. Oh, oh, mama, you look beautiful. Ah! Why well, you know, can I have a word with you? Very important one at that. How may I help you? Oh, you can't help me. No, no. I'm in a better position to help you. I mean, liberate your family. What are you talking about? What I'm 
talking about is that um, Iwe Anibese, the revered king of Etitinanza, is interested in you and wants to make you his wife. And then you will become the queen of Etitinanza. Sounds beautiful, eh? Iche Doga, are you sure you understand what you're talking yes, about? Yes, absolutely. Yes! You know, the king is a man with very, very few words. So all you need to do, tell me when and where it is convenient for you. In private and he will be there. Yes. To see you. I can't imagine what you are saying is the truth. Oh, you better start imagining how beautiful you will look on those your queen attires. How you will walk alacandastically, majestically around the village of Etitinansa. And of course, people will start to envy you. <laughs> yes! Hmm? And even a dog at one point will say to you, Greetings, the queen of Etitinansa. It will be such a good feeling. Hmm? Mama. <laughs> and don't forget that this is a secret between me and you until you meet the king. Okay? Hmm. Secret. Hmm? Don't forget the word secret, huh? Okay. Um, okay, um, let's go. What did he call you to tell you? Oh, <laughs> he said, um, he, he wants me to teach his daughter how to dance. Yes. How to dance? Mm -hmm. Are you now the great dancer that he sought for your tutelage in terms of dancing steps? What happened to Cheta, our renowned dancer, who is also the head of the Okiti in Titinanza? Tell me already what you know. What did he tell you? Why? Why are you sounding like a, you, you suspect I'm lying? No, no. Uh, He's he waiting over you. What's the meaning of that? He said I should teach his daughter how to dance. What's bad if he chooses me? This eh? is not a laughing matter. What do you know? Be? You know you are lying. You know you, are, you know it. You are You're lying. You're not serious. Let's go, Joe. Please, let's go. Are you serious now? It's not a laughing matter. I'm very serious. Here. Uh -uh. <laughs> My sweet husband, the man of my youth, I actually brought this for you. <sighs> my husband, I have a pressing matter I want to discuss with you. A plea for a little favor. This one you brought food for me to eat today. I thought you discharged your obligation towards me. I thought you left me with impunity to becoming everybody's woman. I'm sorry, my husband. I only reacted out of jealousy and aggression. Those who taught you how to apologize should also teach you the customary prerequisite to such absolution. Pardon my inadequacy, my husband. A food made by a child, test childishly. Please allow me to make my request. No. 
if you're here to initiate a reconciliation, then do it in the way of custom. Or go back to whoever that taught you or sent you and learn how to prepare the proper ritual. My husband, the issue I want to discuss with you is an urgent one. Please accept this fruit and allow me to tender my request. Read my lips. I am not going to eat your fruit until you test it. What? Yes. Are you trying to say I poisoned this fruit? <laughs> oh, no, Are you trying to say I poisoned the fruit? Are you trying to say I poisoned it? No, tell me you're going hey, to kill hey, me hey, today. Hey, hey, stop. Are you trying to say I poisoned it? Stop this. No! Let the people hear me! Stop. Are you trying to say I poisoned the fruit? No, no, no. This is not right. This is not right at all. How do you expect me to remain silent and not act in a situation like this? Just calm down, okay? Calm down. Calm down? Someone insulted my husband and engaged him in a fight. And you tell me to calm down. I understand your grief, okay? It's very clear to me. But you have to calm down so we can reap the benefit to revenge, okay? You're not going to talk now. I will tell you when to talk. I can defend myself. Okay, please. I just, I just don't want to disobey you. But this is not right. Okay, I use it. Hmm. This is a serious case of accusation. I mean, how could Urema go to that extent by trying to kill her own husband in a way of poisoning his own food? How on earth will she do that? Your Majesty, this is an embarrassing situation. So what, what do we do now? Um, I think it's um, important for us to invite Abaleke, the mouthpiece of Etitinaza, to handle the situation since it involves the royal home. We must make sure we have an unbiased judgment in a situation like this. Yes. If that is the case, both families involved will produce those that had the quarrel to broker settlement before the king and the mouthpiece of Amadieke. I do not know my daughter Urena to be a killer. Well, we all know the procedures involved in handling situations like this, uh -huh. isn't it? Igwe, uh, please. I want you to procure the food for surveillance and safety until the appointed date. So, um, the food will be well uh, procured until that day. God? Your Majesty. Please inform the food and beverage department that the elders are here. Okay, Your Majesty. Let's become brothers. Let's become. Igwe. Igwe. My the elders will sit in jury tomorrow to advance justice in this matter. Your mother and I will be a somber that only each year with a difference in this community cannot afford to be disgraced in public. Tell us, my daughter. Father, Onusoleze has punished me a lot under his roof since I got married to him. 
and you people have piously intervened in our differences. And I took it in good faith. Considering how he... Um, um, Uwe, please forget all these things you're saying. Huh? Your father and I do not have all the time to listen to all these details. Well, go straight to the point. Huh? Be brief. Pico, oh boy. Yeah. No. Just like that. Father, my husband has cast me away even before he got married to his new wife. He abandoned me with my children to die of hunger just because they are not male. His new wife is expecting. Yet he still doesn't want me. The other day I went to meet him to request he readmit me into his bed for me to enable me beg the gods for another child. And Soleze accused me of poisoning his food. He embarrassed me in front of his new wife. Um, uh, okay. Did you say he embarrassed you before his new wife? How did he do that? He asked me to leave with the food and leave it for another day. Can you taste the food before everyone? Yes, father. If you ask to taste it, can you? Yes, father. Why would I poison my husband? Why would I poison his food? Um, okay, mommy. Adam, mommy, please, we are your family. Eh? Tell us the truth. Are you sure you can test that food tomorrow in Mother, the public? How can you even say such a thing? Why will I poison my husband's food? Why will I want to kill my husband? Stop crying, my daughter. Stop crying, my daughter. I assure you of our unmitigated support in this matter. Provided your mother and I, Ichiobia Somba, will not be humiliated before our son in law. You must make a positive presentation that will endear you to the hearts of the elders in jury. We must not be humiliated by our son in law tomorrow. You must not allow him to defeat you tomorrow. I didn't poison his food. Why would I even poison my husband? Okay, Why is only so they treat him in this way? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 